Hello and welcome to Gardenville.tv with myself, Catherine and Susan. And Susan today is going to show us how to stake a tree, um, but you're going to have to continue this. Okay, morning. what I'm going to show you here is a different method of staking. We've already shown you a, a standard method of staking a bare root tree. This is one that's been planted that was in a pot. So it's got what we call a pot ball at the roots, which means you can't drive a stake down close to the actual stem of the tree. So this is what's known as a crossbar method, right, which okay. you would use for root ball or potted tree. So, so I'm, I'm actually intrigued now, just may I ask, first of all, um, I would have thought a tree of that size would not need to be staked. Well, ideally, because, I mean, this is fan trained for going up a wall, but because it's got a pot ball in it and we want it here, it's better to stake things until they stabilise right. and the roots grow out from the pot bowl. Okay. So this okay. is just a good way now, of demonstrating. Now, can you buy these already made up? No, or do you I was here with the sledgehammer driving stakes. You know, I, I got the hole big enough and saw where the tree was going to go, then drove the stakes and then nailed this piece of four by one right. timber onto it. That's as well done, <laughs> <laughs> So what okay. we have to do then is is to attach this back to here so it's now, it how, how far you've you've planted this now how far down you fin if it's root balled or pot ball or in a pot you literally bring the soil to where the top of the stuff was in the pot to the same level as it was planted in the pot okay the yeah okay no that deeper. makes sense yeah yeah so what right. we do is we get this thing which is uh, a block i think you call it a block and strap for this yeah. And it's got two do you buy this in the, in the garden centre? You centers. get this in the nursery or garden centre, yeah. If you say, right. say you're going to do a crossbar method. Um, crossbar yeah, two, stake two for my tree. Yeah, yeah. you want okay. a strap for it. Yeah. Now, this, I'm not actually going to fix this one on because I want to demonstrate you another one. But there's two holes here where you put screws through. You would screw that onto your timber at the back. Oh, yeah. And then you bring this strap around it like that. Now, this oh. one is Velcro. Right. So it catches beautifully. So that's very it's easy actually, to yeah, manage. It's very easy to manage. So now you just velcro that round and hold it tight into that. Okay. And that's it's all. I don't know whether Rosie can see that there, but you can probably. If that's too big, if the velcro is too big, do you well, cut it? No. What I would do is actually I'd pull it through further here. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. And do it like that, and then oh, yeah. go around, go around a bit further. Gone too far now. But you get the. You just I pull understand. Of that through, yeah. yeah, and then you just slip it around and, and it seals. It around, yeah. Okay, it's it's not as easy as um, the other clip of where we were staking um, no. a tall tree. This is a bit more pernicious. No, it? you may see, you may have seen on the side of the road or when you do, you know, big commercial planting, where they're planting fairly big trees. Yeah, those would normally come with quite a big root ball. Right. On the end of them, you've probably seen them even lying on the side of the road or yeah, you do when they're planting. ready to yeah. do it. Yeah, that's and they'd be using these. And then, because they'd have a much bigger stem girth, you would need the strap this size. Okay. But this is very okay. easy with the Velcro to be Just able to, to be loosen able it. To, yeah. And, and as yes, the tree grows, as you loosen grows. that. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. As we show, we, as we showed had on that the, on the other clip, the other one. which is the clip, um, which is uh, we planted. We planted a bare root tree, and we showed you how to do it on a normal single yeah. stake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now there's another. It, this is very similar. This one here. It's just that instead of the Velcro, it's the same thing, you screw it on, instead of the Velcro, you have a strap, which you just feed around So when stem. you're buying your tree, you must make sure you buy all your bits you with it. You buy your stake. Or you'd be driven you mad buying your tree, then you come home, then you have to go off and get your stake. Well, the other thing is, otherwise you're rooting around in the garage, you're finding an odd piece of timber, you're going inside, getting an old pair of tights, wrapping it around it. And you're wondering why your tree doesn't grow well and it's moving around and it's damaged or the stake is rubbed. Because the stake isn't proper. So it's worth doing, doing so the whole do job. So do plan properly. it in advance. Yeah. Well, here we are. We're showing you at Gardenville.tv how to do this properly, which saves all the hassle. If you're a busy person, you're working all week, you know, you, you yeah. buzz off to um, the garden centre in the more on a Saturday morning because you want to get these trees in. Um, do your homework before you go, so do that your homework you know. Before you go. Have a look at our clips or see what you as, need. As we told you, if you can buy your trees one weekend, and if you then get called away to do something else, you can heal them in, as we showed you on the clip, and plant them the following So weekend. you can look up that clip about storing your tree um, outside, mm. and then, you know, a couple of weeks later, when you get the time, you can go off 
follow what we've done here with your list into the garden centre and around you go. Yeah. And you're sorted. I wish life was that easy. <laughs> so here again then is yeah. just a different one. Yeah, with it's the same thing. Yeah. Oh, it's the same, but you have it. It's slightly different. The other one's Velcro. The other one's Velcro. This is just a strap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you screw that into this. Into this. Yeah. To get in front of the camera because I have to do it sort of tack handled here. In fact, I'll have to put my glasses. Oh, here we are. So, you need one of those screwdrivers then that well, go like that yeah. because well, then. You could, if you had a cordless electric one, either would be very handy. Very handy. Anyway, that's the gist of it, okay? Yeah, and then that's just on a thing that you pull in just and, a strap and yeah. you loosen it. A bit like you what to. you'd have in a backpack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's great, Susan.